I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Embarrassed by embarrassing things, that's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. You just did your presentation with your fly open, or in front of everybody in the gym, you slipped and face planted and emba totally embarrassed yourself. Or my personal favorite that I like to do in front of the congregation, I forget vital parts of the liturgy, sort of like the offering. You can't pay the bills if you forget the offering. I do it all the time. You do that embarrassing thing that you're going to remembered for, be remembered for by the, for the rest of your life, and what are you supposed to do when it happens? And where was God? Why didn't God look out for you when you slipped and fell? Why didn't he catch you, or why didn't he not have anybody around when it happened? When a person slips and falls and no one's there, there's nothing embarrassing that occurs. Is that sort of like a tree that falls in a wilderness? Does it make a sound? Anyway, what do you do when embarrassing things happen? Well, first of all, you remember the gospel. In Christ, you are the center of your Father's attention. Nothing happens apart from you. In Christ, you have no sins, you have no blunders, you have no mess-ups. Your fly is always up because his fly was always up for you. You never face plant because he face planted for you. And, well, in Christ, you are, well, the center of the Father's attention, the apple of his eye, and the one that always puts a smile on his face. And so these things which are what befall you in life, they don't happen apart from your Father's love and care. He cares about you even when you face plant. So why did it happen? Well, these things bring humility to us. They, we make, they make us realize that apart from Christ, apart from the Father's love for us, we're really just a bunch of idiots who would slip and fall or, you know, do other embarrassing things which should have a million hits on YouTube. And the only reason why we don't have a million hits on YouTube is, well, because of the graciousness in Christ. But even if we did make videos that were so embarrassing and so painful that they were on they were shared by everyone on Facebook. We, we have the Father who cares for us, who uses the things which happen to us to build us up and to build our neighbor up. But Pastor Borkhart, I don't feel built, built up when I, when I embarrass myself in front of my friends and get the nickname which I'm going to carry the rest of my life. And I don't want to be, a, I don't even want to be seen. I want to just stick my head in the ground and have no one for the rest of my existence talk to me. Well, the best way of dealing with embarrassing things is to embrace them, to make light of them. A little bit of self-deprecating humor goes a long way in diffusing something. Sometimes you just have to embrace what you've done and look at the congregation and go, I just forgot the offering. Huh. Why didn't you tell me? And everyone will laugh because you know what? They have things that should be on YouTube. They've forgotten things. And who hasn't done a presentation with their fly unzipped? And so... Make light of it, it diffuses it, and it builds everybody up because a little bit of humor is good for everyone. A little bit of humor, and you never know whether or not your little bit of humor and your diffusing of a situation might, might teach someone else or lift someone else up who had the same thing happen to them, and they're thinking, wow, that's the way I should have dealt with it, or wow, I don't feel so bad that I did this or that because you know this person did this or that too. And remember also that in the midst of all of this, the Father feels your pain. He doesn't like for you to be embarrassed. He wants to build you up. And he'll use this for good for the sake of others. And so, keep smiling. Keep making light of your, your, your failures. Keep building others up in the midst of your failures, but in all of it. Remember that you're baptized. And no one takes your baptism from you. And no one takes who you are in Christ away from you. Because who you are is a child of God. And if you have everything, well, that means that nothing, not even the most embarrassing thing in the world, can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. And you're having everything, the forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation in your baptism. That's really what we're going to rest in in everything, our baptism. Because if you have a baptism, your baptism, you have everything. Even you can lift yourself up, smile, make a joke, and move on to the next thing that you do, which, well, should embarrass you, but won't embarrass you because you learned how to deal with it. Yeah. I'm Pastor George Barker. All things are gift for you. This has been another Higher Things video 
short. 